Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is head to our website, vvax-metrotech.com. Go over to our products tab, go down to apps, mobile and desktop. And the first thing you will see here is the My Locator 3 app. Go ahead and click view more. Scroll down and click the download button and go ahead and download that onto your system. So now that you have the My Locator 3 app installed on your computer, whether it's a desktop or a laptop, um, you're going to want to take the supplied USB cable, plug it into your RTK Pro, which happens just inside the battery door, and go ahead and turn the RTK receiver on. Once the receiver comes on, it will recognize it. And if your software is older in the RTK Pro, it will it would then ask you now, uh, it would prompt you and say your software is old. Would you like to update it? I do recommend updating it quite regularly. Because it is a new product, we come out with uh, software updates that will basically make it more convenient for you to use. So go ahead and click update if you need to. You can also get notified of the updates for our software if you subscribe to our newsletter. So now we're gonna get into our actual feature menu um, and where we do our feature definitions and how we can play with those a little bit. So our feature menu, so I have 39 features in here. Um, in order to create them or clear them off, I can hit clear, uh, download, which is going to send it to the receiver. I can export a file or import a file. So if I want to import a file, it's going to bring it in somewhere that I have stored it on my computer. If I want to save this file now, so that will be basically saving my feature codes. So what I'm actually going to do now is I'm going to go to my um, desktop. I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it feature codes. And that will allow me to save this feature code in there. I'm going to put version one. So feature codes version one. So I've now saved that to my computer. So I can safely erase this if I wanted. So I've cleared it off. If I want to bring that back in, all I do is go to my import. Open up my feature code menu, which is a VXJ file. I can click open and download it to my receiver. And now that's installed in my receiver. So let's say I wanted to create or edit one. If we want to start from scratch, which most folks will be doing, let's clear this off. We're going to go to feature codes. We're going to start creating them. So let's just start with gas main. Okay, so now I'm going to create another one. Let's say gas service. This one, GS. So create gas service with my code GS. Now I can just hit enter, come down to the next tab, and let's say power primary power power secondary. And these codes and names for things obviously will potentially be different for whatever your utilities call them or your company wants to call them. However you want to name these, you can go ahead and name them. So what I'm going to do now, if I click this button, show attributes, this is going to be what I want to name something. So for example, on a gas service, let's say I want to call it my pipe type. So the name, this will be the header that comes up top. So I'm going to say pipe type. My description over here, I'm going to say what material. I'm going to click this and say it's mandatory. So now what that means is whenever I go into gas service, I'm going to have to select what material the pipe is made out of. So let's just simply do plastic enter 
and I will do steel. Okay. So now that I've done that, I want to hit OK. What I'm going to do at this point now is I'm going to say export the file. I want to save it. So I need to save this and I'm going to do features version 2.0. I'm going to click save. So now I want to import that back in, which is my import file. And what's that doing now is that is now giving it a file code. So it's giving it a VXJ file. That's the type of file that we use for our feature codes. And in order to do that, we need to save it and import it back in. So I'm just going to collect, select it and open it back up again. Now what I want to do is download this to the actual receiver. So I'm going to click download and it has sent that to my receiver. So now when I shut the receiver off and start it back up again, these feature codes are going to be in my receiver. So your feature codes, you may have different feature codes for different jobs, projects that you're on. You may need to call things differently. So you can have various different feature menus in there and just name them the file that you want. Plug your receiver in, import the other file. Let's say I'm going to import this file back in. I'm going to click open. So you'll see in this one, I've got 39 features. Only one of them has an attribute. I'm going to download it to my receiver. And now that file will be in my receiver as soon as I shut it off and turn it back on again. So it's quite easy to customize and use that feature definition screen.